Hello everyone, welcome to We Learn Edu. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Today I'm going to look at the elbow anastomosis. But if I ask what is anastomosis? Anastomosis is just an alternative, an alternative pathway that is taken by tributaries of an artery, supply and area. And anastomosis can be found in different areas of the body. So far you are going to look at the elbow anastomosis, let's call the scapular anastomosis and other parts of the body. Now, starting with the elbow anastomosis now. The elbow anastomosis is made mainly by the brachial artery, which is a continuation of the axillary artery, which also comes from the subclavian artery. Now, this brachial artery is here. Let me name it. So this is our brachial artery. The brachial artery. This is the brachial artery up to this point where it bifurcates to give the main branches that is the ulnar artery and the radial artery. But this brachial artery first gives off this branch. This is the profunda brachii artery, which is a deep artery. Profunda brachii. So this profunda brachii is a deep branch which continues, as you see, to give off the middle collateral artery. This is the middle. Collateral artery, and this one is going to be the continuation of the profunda brachii. Is the uh, now as it comes, gives off this middle collateral artery, and its continuation, which is going to be the radio collateral artery. Now, this brachial artery continues to give off this other branch which is the superior ulna collateral then this other branch which is posterior which is inferior which is going to be the inferior ulna collateral now as it continues i've said it gives us the ulna artery and the radio artery now this ulnar artery which where it bifurcates in the tributal fossa it gives off this first branch now this this point is varies from person to person you may find that these two are found after this or this one may lie between that so it's a variation eh? but at this point uh, the first branch here which is going to be the now this one is going to be the anterior now it's going to be the anterior ulna Recurrent caused cause up recurrent. So now this one is going to be the posterior ulna recurrent. Now this is going to be now what comes in is going to be the common interosseous artery. This other branch is going to be the common interosseous artery. Basically, that IO. It's going to be the interosseous. It's going to represent interosseous. Now, this common interosseous artery, which is this, it's going to give us this first branch, and this is going to be the posterior and the anterior interosseous artery. So, it's going to be our anterior interosseous artery. It's going to be our posterior interosseous artery. Now this posterior interosseous artery is going to give off an ascending branch. Now this one is going to be our collateral, so recurrent, pardon, it's a recurrent branch. So it's going to be uh, an interosseous recurrent artery. Interosseous recurrent artery. Now this one now is our radio artery. Now this radio artery is going to give us an ascending branch. Now this ascending branch is going to be the radio recurrent artery. Now basically you've identified all the parts. Hope you are at par. You can pause and then memorize what you looked at. But simply now coming to the anastomosis itself. Now what you realize that all those points that are dotted they occur behind the elbow joint posterior to the elbow joint. Now these ones that are that are bold are those that occur anterior to the to the arm, to the forearm. 
Now, as basically now, we are going to see that this superior ulnar collar is going to anastomize with the posterior ulnar recurrent artery. That is posterior to the medial epicondyle. Posterior to the medial epicondyle. Then this one is going to, the inferior ulnar collar is going to anastomize with the anterior ulnar recurrent. That is, sorry, this one is going to occur anterior to the uh, medial epicondyle. So I'm going to occur posterior to the medial epicondyle. Now, when you come to this aspect, we see that this one, which is the radio collateral artery, is going to anastomize with the radio recurrent artery that will be anterior to the lateral epicondyle. This one is going to occur, the interosseous recurrent artery is going to anastomize with the middle collateral artery, that is the posterior aspect of the arm. Best now, this one continues. Now, this is what's called the elbow anastomosis. And I told you the significance that in case air comes to happen a blockage at this point realize in case there's an elbow is occurring at this point of your clot we see that there will be an alternative route that will be taken by the radio collateral artery or if it occurs at this point other part will be open so they will not they won't be the ischemia of a body region so it's a protective mechanism in a human body so at this point thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much